welcome the opportunity to discuss this because it's so important to our um, economy and indeed to my constituency. And Minister, as you know, coming from a neighbouring constituency, the importance of farming in Limerick, where we have about 6,000 um, farms supporting 6,000 farm families, and we have the full range of farming mix from dairy to beef to poultry farming, um, very high quality land across the Golden Vale and um, lesser uh, quality land, marginal land in other parts of my constituency and the challenges that that poses. It's a major employer employing almost 10,000 people and the value of agricultural output and exports from my constituency alone is in the order of 1 billion euros per year. So it's an extremely important uh, sector for me. And farmers in Limerick, as you know, similar to farmers up and down the country, face huge uncertainty. Why? Because farmers are predominantly are primarily price takers, as you know. We see that with milk, we see it with beef. And the uncertainty is compounded with the government formation talks, for example. We hear about uh, an agenda to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions by 7% uh, year on year. We hear about uh, an agenda to reduce the, the national herd. Uh, we hear about an agenda to end the export of uh, livestock, of live uh, exports, which obviously would narrow uh, competition which is available to, to farmers and to producers. So all of that is worrying people and that's against the backdrop of course of the Mercosur deal with the uh, imminent import of cheap beef which is coming from uh, countries where the climate change agenda which we're discussing here now just simply doesn't exist at all in places like Brazil and in other parts of the uh, South Americas. So Minister you know that we need to support our farmers in Limerick, we need to support our farmers up and down the country and we need more diversification. We need to scale up the schemes, the support schemes that are going to be there to support them, uh, particularly to keep the jobs, 280,000 people employed up and down the country in relation to food uh, pr production. And that's against the backdrop of a, a recent United Nations report which tells us that despite all the scaling up, that food production in Ireland is going to have to increase by about 50% by the year 2050. So we're recognised as being a, a premium food producing nation, but we have to uh, build on the scaling up whilst recognising our climate change um, agenda. Minister, I just want to put on record the thanks to my thanks to the IFA, ICMSA, uh, Beef Plan Movement and Mochran Pharma, who are continually in touch with me and my colleagues in Limerick and impressing upon us the challenges that they are um, enduring day and day. And what I want to ask you, Minister, by way of reply, and you can come back to me in your own time, will there be additional funding made available? Will you be scaling up the schemes to deal with the challenges of the climate change agenda? And in particular, can you mention to me in your reply what you're going to do for young farmers? Macron and Firma have raised this to me, the, the whole issue of uh, transfer of uh, holdings, uh, intergenerational transfer of holdings and the uh, challenges that they are coming up. Minister, I also want to mention broadband, huge issue there for farming, huge, huge issue for rural long. county Limerick yeah. and finally yeah. I want to echo the comments of other speakers in relation to designated land, huge issue in Limerick. Thank you.